Hey guys. Today, I'm going to visit little Georgie Adamo. I brought uh, his mother here today. This way she could visit uh, her daughter, her brother, her parents, and uh, her son, Georgie. But I wanted to give a quick Bad Avenue story about little Georgie Adamo. The kid was a hell of a kid, I tell you, a wild kid, great kid. Came from a good family. His father was a wise guy. His father was Georgie Crowbar. Georgie Crowbar got killed in 1975. Georgie Crowbar was very tight with Carmine Galente. He was running around for Carmine. He was one of uh, Carmine's henchmen that was moving a lot of weight with drugs. But uh, today we visit little Georgie Adamo, check him out. And I have a lot of good stories with Georgie, a lot of good memories with him. I met him, I was about eight, nine years old. And uh, he basically introduced me to the street life. This is a time when my mother and father separated. My mother moved to Bath Avenue on Bay 16th Street. And that's where my journey began with my friends. But remembering Georgie, I did a lot of scores with him. I had a lot of fun with him. Halloween was a great time, egging, shaving, creaming having fun as kids, not knowing the outcome of life, what would be later on. But I think of all my friends looking back, Georgia was a tough kid, a good kid. In his life, he succumbed to drugs and that was a downfall for him. He was Anthony Spiro's godson Eddie Lino baptized him, and he was also uh, Georgie Adamo's godfather. So, little Georgie has a story behind him. I talk about him because I always want to remember him. And to all my friends I lost, I'll always talk about them and remember them. But everyone, have a great Sunday. I'll see you guys next on my next video. In the cemetery, it's always cool and quiet. Hate to leave the sacred lay. It's a milky coming of the day. But to you all, I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.